So you're going to want to have two blocks handy. If you don't have blocks, you can use books or rolled up towels. And we're going to start in child's pose. So bring your toes to touch, press your hips back, walk the hands forward, bringing your forehead down to a block or the mat. And just take a few moments to connect with your breath. Working the tailbone down, lengthening through the arms, the fingertips, and just getting a nice stretch through the shoulders, the front of the arms, the upper back. And on your next inhale, gently come up to tabletop or hands and knees. And take your right hand, interlace it underneath the left arm. Come down to the right side of the head, right shoulder. Walk your left fingertips toward the front part of the mat and come into a thread the needle here. I'm breathing into that space between the shoulder blades. On your inhale, walk that left hand back underneath the shoulders, bring your right hand back, and reach your left arm underneath the right arm, stay here, or walk the right fingertips forward, and again, breathing into that space between the shoulder blades, and doing a nice deep stretch here, and inhale, placing the right hand, come back to tabletop position, and we'll just take a few rounds of cow and cat. Inhale, sink your belly down as you gaze up. And on your exhale, arch through your back, bringing your chin towards your chest. Inhale, sink the belly down, gazing up. Exhale, arch through your back, bringing your chin towards your chest. And continue to move here with your breath. Breathing into all those spaces throughout the spine and the front body. And on your next inhale, come back to tabletop. Walk your hands forward about a foot or more, keeping your hips in line with your knees. On your exhale, start to bring your chest down. Maybe rest your forehead on a block or the mat. You can also rest your chin. We're coming into puppy pose. And just getting a nice stretch again through the upper back, lengthening through the arms, the shoulders, the side body. Last breath here. And on your inhale, gently lift your head, walk the hands back underneath the shoulders, curling your toes under. Start to walk your hands back, bringing your hips to rest on your heels. So just getting a nice stretch through the bottoms of the feet. Now, if that feels uncomfortable, you can always bring the tops of the feet down. You can also use a block underneath your sitting bones on any level just to make this pose a little more comfortable. And just pause here, really press the toes or the tops of the feet into the mat. Bring your hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers. Start to work the knuckles down toward the earth as you lengthen your chest forward, gazing slightly upward, and just getting a nice stretch through the front of the chest and the shoulders. Last breath here. And gently releasing the hands. You can stay on your toes or you can Release the tops of the feet down to the mat. We're just going to grab opposite index finger on top. Lengthen the knuckles down. Straightening through the elbows. Reaching the chest up. Gazing slightly upward. Good. Last couple breaths. And gently releasing the fingers. Walk the hands forward. Come back to tabletop. Curling the toes under, spread through your fingers. Really work those fingers apart. Press the base of the palms and the tips of your fingers into the earth and lift your hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths to walk your dog or bend both knees, straightening both legs. Just create a little bit of movement here. 
working the tailbone up toward the ceiling. Come up high into your toes. Press the mat away with your fingertips and the base of your palms, melting your heart down toward your feet, and then start to slowly lower the heels down, keeping the hips in the same position. So you're really getting a nice deep stretch through the back of the legs, but also lengthening through the spine. Press the mat away, melting the heart. You're also going to feel a nice opening through the shoulders, the sh between the shoulder blades, maybe even around to the armpits and the chest. Last breath here. And on your inhale, bend your knees looking forward, step toward the front part of the mat. Exhale, fold here, reaching the crown of the head down toward the earth. Put a bend in the knees if you feel any pulling on your low back. And then grab opposite elbows and just come into a dangle here. Reaching the crown of the head down toward the earth. Really spread through your toes, working your toes, the balls of your feet, your heels into the earth. And then switch the grab of your elbows to the opposite forearm is in front. Last couple breaths here. And gently release the fingertips down. Put a slight bend in your knees. Sweep your arms out and up. And exhale, palms come down to heart center. Pausing here. Really work the feet into the earth. Find a nice neutral pelvis so you're not sticking your bum out or tucking it under. And on your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Reach up. Bring your palms to touch. And on your exhale, tilt your torso over to the left, reaching that right hip bone out to the right side. Maybe roll your right shoulder back, gazing slightly up. You're just getting some length there through the upper body. Inhale, come back to the center. Lengthen out through your fingertips and on your exhale, tilt to the other side, working that left hip point out toward the side of the mat. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your heart forward, hands come underneath the shoulders or to your shins. Exhale, fold, step the feet back, come into plank pose, top of a push-up. Really press the mat away with your palms. Feel those shoulder blades working onto your back, belly button toward your spine. And on your exhale, pitch the body slightly forward, bend the elbows, hug those elbows in as you lower all the way down. Toss the feet, come down. On your inhale, Slightly press into the tops of the feet and the palms as you lift your chest up, baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale, press into the hands, lift up, maybe a little higher. Exhale down. Lengthen those feet toward the back end of the mat. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale down. Curl your toes under. Press into your toes so that your thighs engage. And then either press up on your inhale to plank or tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step toward the front part of the mat. Exhale, folding here. Root down through the feet. Sweep your arms out and up. And exhale, palms come down to heart center. Then we're going to do two more Surya Namaskar A or some salutation A. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your heart forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Step the feet back, plank pose. Again, press the mat away. Really engage your core. Slightly pitch the body forward. And exhale, bend the elbows, lowering down. Inhale, press up to cobra or upward facing dog. And on your exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step toward the front part of the mat. Exhale, fold here. Root down through the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, palms come down to heart center. One more sun salutation A. Inhale, arms up. Really reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, the heart forward. Exhale, fold. Step the feet back. Plank pose. Exhale, bend the elbows. Lowering down through chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward dog. 
and exhale, downward facing dog. Take about three breaths here. Really work the tailbone up toward the ceiling. Melt your heart. Press the mat away with the base of the palms and the fingertips. If you're feeling any, run the fingertips toward, you know, slightly out so that the index fingers and the thumbs are pointing more toward the front part of the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, looking forward. Lightly hop or step toward the front part of the mat. Exhale, fold here. Root down through the feet, sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, palms come down to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Bring your left hand to grab your right wrist. Reach up, lengthen up through that right, those right fingertips. And on your exhale, tilt over to the left. Just lengthening again through the side body and that right shoulder. Inhale, come back to the center, swish the grip. Reach up with the left arm, and on your exhale, tilt over to the right. Good. Inhale, come back to the center, release the grip. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Walk the toes a little bit closer together. Maybe the big toes are touching. Inhale, the arms up, bend the knees. Sit back into Utkatasana, chair pose. Work the tailbone down, low belly in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your heart forward. Exhale, fold, step back, plank pose. We're not going to take a full sun salutation V here. We're going to do some scapular push-ups. This also helps to strengthen through the back body, the upper body. So you're going to press the mat away and then start to sink your chest down, working the shoulder blades away from the back. Inhale, press back up, working the shoulder blades onto the back. Exhale, down. Inhale up one more time. Exhale down. Now be mindful that you're not sinking your hips down. Keep the core engaged. And then press back up. Exhale downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up behind. Exhale bend your knee toward your nose. Step the right foot in between your hands. Come up onto your fingertips and at first work the hips down gazing slightly forward. So that you really feel that deep opening through the legs. Stay here, or inhale the arms up, coming into crescent lunge. If you feel any pulling on the low back, put a bend in that back knee. On your next inhale, sweep the arms forward and back behind. Interlace the fingers. Start to straighten through the elbows, reaching the chest up. And on your exhale, fold forward so that the right rib cage comes to the inside of that right thigh. Coming into Humble Warrior, really getting a nice stretch through the front of the chest. Inhale, bring the torso back up, release the arms. Exhale, place the hands, step back to plank. Take those scapular push-ups again. Really press the mat away, start to sink the chest down. Shoulder blades come away from the back. Inhale, back up. Good, two more. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Watch those hips. Exhale, down. Inhale, back up. Press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up behind. Exhale, bend the knee toward the nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Come up onto the fingertips. Reach the chest forward. Really bend into that front knee. Cross the back heel back toward the back part of the mat. Stay here. Or inhale the arms up. Press and lunge. On your inhale, sweep the arms forward and back. Interlace opposite index fingers on top and start to straighten through the arms, reaching the chest up. Exhale, fold forward. You always have the option to keep the torso upright if coming forward is too much. Last breath here in Humble Warrior. Inhale, bring the torso back up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, place the hands. Step back to plank. One more time with those scapular push-ups. Really press the mat away, scoop those hips up. Exhale, the chest comes down. Inhale, up. Two more, exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Press the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Really melt your heart so that you can feel those shoulder blades working onto the back. 
Feeling that length through the armpits, extending out through the arms. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or lightly hop toward the front part of the mat. Exhale, fold here. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up, Uttanasana, chair pose. Really bend into the knees so that you work that tailbone down. Weight is heavy in your heels. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, palms come down to heart center. And we're going to take Eagle Pose or Garbhasana. Inhale the arms up as you bend your knees. Start to bring the weight onto that left foot. Lift your right heel. And you have the option to stay right here. Otherwise, as you feel steady, cross that right leg over the top of the left. Maybe you can double wrap, wrapping the toes around. Stay here or open the arms out to the sides. And on your exhale, Right arm is going to come underneath the left arm. Maybe bring the backs of the hands together. Maybe double wrap. Coming into that eagle pose. Sit the hips down. Work the elbows up so that they're even with the shoulders. You need a nice stretch through that upper back. Good. Last breath. Good. And so you have the option to come right back to chair pose. Otherwise, try to challenge yourself. Gently unwrap that right leg. And start to reach, woo, start to reach that right leg back as you bring your torso forward, coming into warrior three with eagle arms. Good. Inhale, come back to standing. Bring that right knee out in front. And exhale, gently place the foot, unwrap the arms, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms come down to heart center. We'll take side two. Inhale the arms up, bend the knees, sit back into Uttatasana. Start to lift that left heel. Weight is heavy in that right leg. Stay here or cross the left leg over the top of that right. Stay there or open the arms out to the sides. And on your exhale, left arm comes underneath the right. Maybe the backs of the hands come together, maybe the palms. Lift the elbows up, bend into that right leg. Good. Really focus here. Feel that stretch and opening through that space between the shoulder blades. Good. Gently start to come up. As you unwrap that left leg, kick the left leg back behind. Come into warrior three with eagle arms. Keep the left hip bone pointing down. Use your core to help you come back up. Maybe step the left foot down. Maybe bring that left foot out in front. Exhale, gently release. Release the arms. Reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your heart forward. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Step the feet back. Come into plank pose. Top of a push-up. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up behind. Exhale, bend your knee toward your nose. Step the foot in between your hands. Spin your left heel down. Try to line up the front heel with the back arch. And inhale, your torso up, warrior two. Mirabhadrasana two. Good, bend into that front knee. Inhale, straighten through the front leg. Turn the right toes to face forward. Sweep the hands back behind. And then bring opposite elbows, or grab opposite elbows. Reach your chest up. Put a slight bend in your knees, belly button toward your spine as you fold forward. Coming into this wide angle forward fold, grabbing those opposite elbows. Good. Inhale, gently start to bend into the knees, bring the torso back up. Mm -hmm. Turn the left toes out. Reach the arms. So you're coming into warrior two on the second side. Really bend into that left knee. Make sure that the left arc heel is lined up with that right arch. Good. Last breath. Inhale, straighten through that left knee. Turn the toes to point in. And then this time you're going to take, um, either grab opposite elbows or I'm going to turn this way. You can go to reverse namaste as best you can. Really work 
those elbows back so that you open up through the chest. Exhale, start to fold forward, bringing the crown of the head down toward the earth. Good, inhale, gently put a nice bend in the knees, come back up. Turn the right toes out, reach the arms and just cartwheel the hands down, framing the front foot, step back to plank. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. One more deep breath here. And on your next inhale, bend the knees, bring the knees down toward the earth, cross the ankles or just swing the feet over to one side. Come to sitting. And then you're going to bring the blocks. You're going to take one block and put it toward the top of the mat. Rest. And then you're going to take the other block on the medium level. And you're going to lower yourself down so that the block is right in between your shoulder blades. So start to place yourself on that block. Bring your head down onto that other block. And you can keep the knees bent and just allow the arms to float out to the sides, turning the palms to face up. So you're going to feel a nice opening through the front of the chest. And just continuing to breathe here. Allow your chest and the back of the chest to feel supported by that block. And then keeping your body as it is, start to walk the hands up and then lift your head gently, interlace the hands behind the head and just allow those elbows to drop out to the sides. It's almost like you're taking a little butterfly pose but with your arms. And just allow the shoulder blades to kind of work into the back slightly Allowing that opening through the front of the chest. Working the elbows gently down, not a lot of pressure there. Inhale, gently start to bring the elbows up, bring your head up. Hands come down by your sides so that you can bring yourself up. Remove the blocks, but keep one handy and start to lower yourself down onto the mat. Walk the feet so that your heels are close to your hips. Start to press into the soles of your feet. Make sure your feet are parallel. And if you're not quite sure, try to turn your toes in so almost so that it feels like you're pigeon-toed. Only if you're not sure if your feet are parallel. A lot of times we turn our toes out. So start to press into the soles of the feet and the upper arm bones as you lift your hips up. Maybe clasp the hands underneath the body, rolling the shoulders under, pressing the backs of the hand or the sides of the hands up against the mat so that your biceps are working up toward the ceiling. Last breath here. Exhale, gently release, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Once your hips are down, just pause here, resting the hips on the earth. And then cross your right leg over the top of that left leg. Reach your arms out to the sides. And on your exhale, release your knees over to the left. So if having the legs crossed is too much, you can always uncross them and just stack the legs on top of each other. But just coming into this twisting, recline twisting variation, twisted roots, it just helps to, one, open up the chest with this twisting motion, but it also helps to stretch that outer right hip if you've got the legs crossed. And twisting poses are great for digestion. Bring your knees back to the center. Uncross that right leg, cross the left leg over the top of that right one. And then release the knees over to the right. Gazing up or out toward the left hand. Again, these twisting poses are great for digestion because they help to Massage those are internal organs and kind of squeeze everything so that when you release, it helps to release bloat 
or any discomfort. Last breath here. And then inhale, gently bring the knees back up, uncross the legs. And then you're going to take one of your blocks and you're going to just roll over one side and place the block on the mat so that it's going to be parallel to your spine. And then you want the base of that block to be right at the base of your bra line or if you're a man where a bra would be. And start to release your shoulders, your head, your neck. Now, if this is uncomfortable on your head or your neck, you can interlace the hands behind the head just for some extra support, or you can choose to use that other block underneath the head. Otherwise, release the head down. Arms can be out by your sides, wherever feels best. And just coming into this supported fish pose here, working the chest up. You can also straighten the legs if that feels okay. And just taking a few breaths here, allowing the chest to feel nice and open. This is great for posture, especially if you're hunched over a computer or a desk all day. And take as long as you'd like here. When you're ready, gently bring yourself up, remove the block. And if you'd like, you can lay down and take a shavasana. And just be mindful that when you take shavasana, it helps to rejuvenate the whole body. Helps to kind of reset the body after all those moves, those yoga poses. So again, stay here as long as you'd like. And thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.